with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, what a beautiful, beautiful day it turned out to be across the region, even with quite a few clouds, especially in the afternoon. Those temperatures flying well above average. Another very warm day, all the way up to 77 officially in town. We started out mild, didn't we? 65. Here are your averages. 61 and 42. Now we're going to be closer to those numbers, but not until later in the work week. Outside right now, it's gorgeous. Some passing clouds, 73 degrees, humidity 57%, and east northeasterly wind in here, very light, just three miles per hour. Let's go around the viewing area. Coolest numbers as you track farther off to the north with low 60s up around Seymour. Otherwise, we have the upper 60s, low 70s, close to the I-64 corridor, including the metro, and upper 60s to near 70. The farther south you go across the Commonwealth and just a very slow drop on the way. The next few hours, look how quiet the weather pattern is. The real thick clouds, rain, even snow chances, even do dare say that, <laughs> well off to the north and northwest. Around here, we have a frontal system kind of snaking right across the region just north of the metro. Now, here's the thing. This front is actually going to start retreating back off to the north overnight tonight through tomorrow as a warm front. And that's going to set the stage for an incredibly warm day tomorrow. More on that in just a second. This evening, not too bad though, right? Quite a few clouds, but we'll go from the low 70s into the upper 60s with quiet conditions on this Tuesday evening. Got to show you what's happening off to the west now. We have 73. This is right now. You go farther west, southwest, we're still in the 80s, low 80s, even mid 80s in a few spots. Well, that is the air that's expected to be over us for tomorrow, your Wednesday. So get ready for kind of a summer-like feel to your Wednesday afternoon. Here's tomorrow morning. We wake up to a few passing clouds, dry skies. Temperatures will be in the 50s to near 60. Warm spot as it typically is, downtown Louisville in around 62. Okay, we're not going to spend a lot of time there. We'll have a couple of clouds, but watch what happens. They quickly mix out. We clear, we go partly to mostly sunny midday through tomorrow afternoon, and the wind is going to pick up. Keep this one in mind. It's going to be rather gusty tomorrow afternoon. Winds from the southwest, but warming winds pushing those temperatures way up. Now, keep in mind tomorrow's high, record high, I should say, 82 degrees in Louisville. We set that three years ago. I think we have a pretty good chance of coming close to that number tomorrow afternoon. All across the region, high temperatures, upper 70s and lower 80s. Wow, on your Wednesday. Enjoy that because cooler, not cold, but cooler weather will invade Thursday and after. Matter of fact, a cold front will be passing through Thursday morning. We'll see skies going partly sunny Thursday afternoon. It will be cooler as we're hovering in the 60s. See that green off to the southwest? That's a rain chance that will move into the region from near Louisville, but especially just south and points south, especially late Thursday night on into Friday morning. Here's our forecast for this evening. Mainly cloudy, comfortable. Wow, 70s slowly into the 60s. Here's your 12-hour forecast for tomorrow. Starting out at 62, we're already mid-70s by midday, a late-day high near 80. And then we're a little cooler on Thursday. Temperatures holding in the low and middle 60s for much of the afternoon. Could be a few showers late Thursday night, early Friday. Best chances south of the metro. Hey, the weekend is cool, but it's, it's not bad. It's not cold. Mm -hmm. Typical autumn weather with upper 50s and low 60s both Saturday and Sunday. Mm -hmm. Lots of sun. And it was great election day. In fact, the election results.